What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, I want to give a big thank you to you. Thank you for helping me hit 1K. To celebrate, I'm doing a QA. and I'll be posting it next week. So if you want me to answer one of your questions in the video, be sure to drop one of my comments below or head over to my Instagram where I'll have a question bar open on my story. Now, enough with the thank yous, let's get into the video. Today I'm going to be bringing back something that I used to do on my Instagram a long time ago and I called it Fitness Friday. I'm clearly not the strongest guy in the world, but I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what it means to be in good golf shape. Now before we get into the video, let's establish why we're getting in shape as golfers. Reason number one would be to get your wind up. A golfer that is in really good shape will finish rounds a lot stronger than an equally skilled golfer who's not in shape at all. Golf isn't as physically demanding as other sports, but when you're walking 18 holes, you don't want to step up onto that 18 tee box and have shaky legs and a racing heartbeat. Working out will make closing rounds significantly significantly easier. Uh, reason number two would be preventing injury. I I suffered with this a lot in college and I could never figure it out, but I, once I started working out, I never had those injuries anymore. I'd have back spasms, um, sometimes my wrist would hurt, and this would just be because I was overtraining on muscles that weren't strengthened. And that's because a golf swing is super one-sided. It's a really explosive action that generates a lot of torque. And if you do it over and over again without a balanced, strengthened body, you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna pinch a merv, uh, pull a muscle, do something bad. So it's important to stay in shape. And finally, balance and athleticism. These workouts aren't meant to make you look like Brooks, but they will give you good balance and make your swing a lot more. Easier. Seriously, let's listen to the nine time major winner, the inventor of golf fitness, the Black Knight, Gary Player. He did a, an article with Golf Digest a long time ago, um, which I'm gonna cite a lot in this video. But he says, the perfect golfer would look like Popeye. Thin waist, powerful legs, huge forearms with left and right sides equally strong. Later in the article he also says, Every week I make a point of finding an overweight youngster in the gallery and taking his father aside. I tell these fellows, privately and politely, my son is a diabetic and my father was a diabetic. When you get diabetes, you take insulin twice a day and that doesn't stop it from affecting your eyes, your liver, your limbs, and everything else. Please get your son on a good diet now. I think they're usually grateful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I totally understand where he's coming from, but this takes some balls. So go up to a kid who's following you around a tournament, probably idolizes you, and tell him, if you don't stop eating donuts, your arms are going to fall off. He did this every week, and he never got swung on. Black Knight doesn't mess around. Nevertheless, this guy was clearly the pioneer of fitness and golf, and he's got a lot of good advice that you can follow if you want to get in better shape. So let's take a look. I'm going to run through this article pretty quickly, but I will link this down in the description if you should feel so inclined to take a closer look at it. Be winded for at least 10 minutes a day. Develop both sides of your body. Work on your core and focus on your hands and wrists. I'll cover all of these in our workouts today, so let's get to it. All right, first we're going to start with push-ups. I don't have a bench press, but Gary Player did say he prefers the old-fashioned push-ups to strengthen the chest. We're going to do 25 push-ups on, on the foam roller, and then 10 push-ups, five each side with one hand on a medicine ball. You can do five and five, or switch on each one like I did here. Next, in order to get winded, I'm going to run up and down my steps 10 times, walking backwards on the way down to make sure I stay coordinated, and then do all of the above one more time, and that'll be it for the warm-up. This should take about 10 minutes, so we can check Mr. Player's first suggestion off. Next, we'll do some legs. Like I said before, we're trying to build balance, and since I don't have a whole lot of weight here, um, I'm gonna stand on a foam roller to force myself to use my core and balancing muscles to not fall over. I'm also gonna hold on to this 12 pound medicine ball. We're gonna go slow on the way down and then explode up. Do 20 squats on the foam roller. You're gonna struggle to stay on it first, but once you get a hold of it, add three squats for every time you fall off. Two sets of 20 should be good here. After those foam roller squats, we're gonna do my absolute least favorite workout on the planet, lunges. This won't be too hard since I don't have that much weight, but we're gonna do a good amount of them to make up for it. Do three sets of 12 on each side with a 12 pound med ball. I decided to add a little press in here to get the shoulders working, but you don't have to. It's just a little something I felt like doing for my own enjoyment. Next is the med ball swings. This is a little exercise I learned from Ollie Schneider's hands back when he did an article for Golf Digest. I'll link that down below as well if I can find it. He said his favorite exercise is a golf swing with the med ball. I like to do two sets of 15 on each side, 
This is actually really good for golfers because it gives you the rotational strength and creates good habits in your golf swing. Keeping the club in front of you will increase your consistency in ball striking and this workout is good for keeping yourself connected in your swing. Next we will cover working your core. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there are literally thousands of ways to work on your core and I'm just choosing three today. First we have Russian twists. These are great for golfers. I do this just about every day as it works out your rotational muscles. I'll be doing two sets, 25 reps each side. Next is V-ups with the med ball. This works out the interior muscles of your core, which helps with stability. I'll do two sets of 20 on this one. And finally, you have Spider-Mans. For this, get up to a full plank and bring your knees up to the outside of your elbows. Think Spider-Man climbing a building here, so don't bring your knees to your chest like a mountain climber. Instead, bring it along the outside so it doesn't touch the ground. And last but not least, Sir Gary Player wants us to focus on our hands and wrists. In golf, like in all sports, where you learn to swing something, you know, baseball, hockey, uh, golf, your forearms can never be too strong. For this, I actually made a little contraption out of a piece of string and put some weights on a PVC pipe. But there are other options for you. Mr. Player suggests in this article that you can actually go outside and cut the grass. In other words, you take a weighted club or your sand wedge and go outside and cut some of the grass down with a full, strong grip swing. Notice I said cut the grass, don't just take massive divots out of the ground your landlord might kill you. Finally, this is my post-workout routine. I do some type of yoga flow uh, combined with a few swing building moves. I do this before every single round. I either do it before I leave my house or I drop a towel on the ground at the range and do it before I get going. I think it's very important to do it just every day because it helps you get your body into the same feel just about every single day. So for my pre-round yoga flow, I start by reaching up really tall for the sky and then I forward fold to touch my toes. From there, I walk my hands out to down dog, get a little stretch there, and then I bring one foot up, pump the hips down to the ground 10 times, and then get one deep stretch with my knee to the ground, and then straighten that front leg for a hamstring stretch. Then I do all of that on the other side. After that, I return to down dog, and then enter table. I do cat and cow for a few rounds to stretch out the back, usually around three, but sometimes if I'm feeling it, I'll do more. And then after that, I go back to down dog again and pedal out the calves. From there, I go into pigeon pose, which is where you put your leg on the mat right in front of you, as you see I do there, and then I lay down over it. Um, this is going to stretch out the hips really well. This might be kind of difficult for you, and if it's uh, too hard, you can also do reclining pigeon pose, uh, which is where your leg is up above your body as you lay on your back on the ground, something that I do every day to stretch out my hips. Um, also lean into your hips a few times in order to get a deeper stretch there. So I do that on both sides and then from there I go straight to my back, arms out strong to the side, I lift up the legs straight and then let them fall to the right or the left. Um, this is a hip stretch, this is a back stretch as well, so I'm trying to keep my knee on the ground and then stretch out to get my back flat. So this is going to be um, a good stretch if you let it be. This can also be something where you just kind of lay on the ground and relax, but in order to get something out of it, you kind of have to try. Um, so once you've done that, go to the other side, uh, do it again. On, if you start on the right, then go to the left and do that. Uh, you're going to want to reactivate the hips after this stretch by bending the knees to 90 degrees and touching the ground on both sides 10 times. After this, get up to your feet and do standing rotations to isolate the lower back. One with the arms out and then one with the hands to your chest. And that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's how I get going every day before my golf rounds. If you want me to get a little more in-depth with my pre-round stretching routine, drop a comment below and let me know. I might do that for a future Fitness Friday. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm planning on doing this as a series, so I'll be getting you guys new workouts uh, a couple times a month so you can switch things up. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to add a D to the end of subscribe. Comment your video ideas. I usually take suggestions from the comments, and I've, a lot of the videos I've done have actually been from what I read down below, so make sure to drop one there. Throw a like on this video and share it with somebody. Tag somebody on this video. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube or not, but if you can, do it. Tweet it, Facebook it. 1K is down. 10K is next. Let's do it. All right. Deuces.